So moving away from graphing, we want to start looking at multiplication of a bunch of different factors. Mathematicians are super lazy, and if we have a shorthand way to write something that's long, we're going to use it. So 4.1 is kind of an introduction into using that shorthand notation with multiplication. So an exponent of 2 or greater tells how many times the base is used as a factor. So only when we're dealing with multiplication, this is one of our examples. We have multiply, multiply, multiply. And the base is all the same. So the thing down on the bottom what's actually being multiplied is the base. And how many factors do we have all together? We have four of them. So we can write that shorthand, a raised to the fourth. So that four tells us, take this thing, multiply it times itself that many times in total. Okay, so in this case, the exponent is 4, that's the name for that thing, or the power, we use those interchangeably, and 4 is, excuse me, the base is A, the base is A, 4 is the exponent, A is the base. An expression for a power is called exponential notation. Exponential notation. So now we have percent notation, decimal, fraction, and exponential now. So we want to look at this list and discuss what does each of these um, products actually mean. What's the meaning of 3 to the 5th? So I take the base, 3, multiply it times itself 5 times in total. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Instead of writing all that out, this is much more concise, a lot easier. Even if we don't know what the base is, if it's n, we take that times itself 4 times in total. And n is dynamic, it's a variable we can plug in different things at different times. For this part, our exponent is now on this parenthesis. We're taking that whole entire quantity, 2n times 2n times 2n, three times in total. So the parentheses are important if it's containing the base or if it's specifically just on one term of that base. So in this case, is the exponent 2 attached to 50? No. So we have 50. And then our base now is x, and we need to multiply it times itself two times in total. So 2 isn't attached to 50. That's not the base, this whole thing like it was up here. The base is only x in that case. So here, my base is what? Negative n times negative n times negative n, three times in total. Okay, because the 3 was attached to that parenthesis. So the base was the negative n. In this case, what is our base for the exponent? Just n itself. So we have a negative, and we need n times n times n, three times in total. So notice the difference between those two. This one, our negative, is with the base. It's contained. The, the power is attached to the parentheses. This one, the power is only attached to n. It's not also attached to the negative. So it changes things significantly. So be careful when you're working with those. Parentheses are very important. So go ahead and take these and tell me the meaning of each of those powers. So what does the first one mean? 5 is our base times itself 4 times in total. Much more concise. Here our base is x. 2, 3, 4, 5. x times itself five times in total. What is the base of the third example? 3t, that entire thing, times itself. But here, the base is only t. Squared is only attached to t, so we've got 3 times t times t. And again here, entire base is negative x. Negative x. Negative x. Negative x. Four times in total. And last, again, our base is what? Just y. y times itself three times, times a negative in the end. 
All right. So be careful with the parentheses. They do make a huge difference with these exponents. So we read a raised to the nth, where a is the base, and n is the power. We read that as a to the nth power, or a to the nth um, simplified. So a to the nth. So if we have 2, base 2, and power 5, it's 2 to the fifth. So we're going to start looking at patterns coming out of uh, this lineup. On the left-hand side, what's happening every single time we move down a line? So as I'm moving down on the left, from line to line, what's happening? We're dividing by a factor of 8. So I divide by 8, and that one's gone. Divide by another factor of 8, that one's gone. Divide by another factor of 8, we're here. Divide by 8, we're at 1. So on the left, we're dividing by 8 each time. And as that happens, if we want to write it concisely with powers, what are we looking at here? Our base is 8, obviously, because that's what we're dealing with every single time. But what are the exponents that are involved? So I've got four factors of 8 in the first line, 3 in the next, 2, and then 1. Okay, but I don't have an 8 down here. But what's happening with these powers as we move down on the right-hand side? We're decreasing the exponent by 1 every single time. So what should we have in here, just by the pattern? 1 is really 8 raised to the 0th power. So our exponents decreased by 1 each time. So that's important. That tells us a lot. Any base raised to the zero power, doesn't matter what it is, is always going to be 1. So for any number, a raised to the first, or 8 raised to the first, really is just what? 8, because I only have one of them. I guess I don't need it over there. It's over here. So I have one factor of 8. 8 raised to the first is just itself. And then any base raised to the zeroth power is always 1. doesn't matter. Okay, but there's one little weird case. We consider 0 raised to the 0 power to be not defined. And we'll go into why that is a little bit later with some justification. But for now, just be careful with those. Those are not defined. 0 raised to the 0 power. So let's just evaluate a few of these quickly. 5 raised to the first power. What does it evaluate to? That means I just have one factor, 5, 5. And we want to keep it in this form, because that one's simplified. If I have negative 8 raised to the first, so my base is negative 8. Anything raised to the first power is itself. Comes out. Doesn't matter, just like it did up here. All right, 3 raised to the 0th power. Anything raised to the 0 is... 1. Even if it's nasty, negative and a decimal, if it's raised to the 0 power, what do we get out? 1. Okay. But now, what about this guy? What if I pull the negative on the outside of the parentheses? Still raised to the 0 power. What is that going to simplify to? So what is my base in that case? 749.21 raised to the 0. This is going to be 1 itself, but I still have that negative on the outside. He's not attached to the base. So this one's going to be negative 1. So be super careful with those parentheses when we're dealing with exponents.